My name is Eric Seidel. I started the Flutter project at Google about 10 years ago and then led the Flutter and Dart teams at Google until leaving two years ago to start Shorebird, my current company. At Shorebird, we've built Code Push for Flutter, which lets you instantly update your Flutter app on users' devices all over the world. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up Shorebird for your Flutter project and deploy your first update. So we're gonna start um, with a Flutter project. Uh, I don't have one, so I'm gonna use Flutter Create uh, to create a simple project. If you've ever used Flutter, you've seen uh, the project this makes. It makes a counter app. Uh, so this has now created this very this empty Flutter project, and we're gonna go ahead and set up Shorebird in it. Uh, in this video, I've already set up Shorebird on this machine. There's a separate video for that. Uh, so here, if I go into Hello World, uh, all I have to do to set up Shorebird for this project is run Shorebird init. Uh, this will go ahead and run Gradle to detect any flavors, um, but otherwise does very, very little. It's going to create a single project called, uh, sorry, a single file called shorebird.yaml, uh, which all it does is includes a single unique identifier for your app. So we can identify your app even if you change its name, bundle ID, uh, or versions, etc., change across devices, uh, across uh, platforms. So it's going to ask me here, how are we going to refer to it? I'm going to say hello world. Uh, and that's it. Uh, so we're done. We have now set up Shorebird for our app. And this works the same whether your app is uh, 30 lines of code or 30 million lines of code. Uh, it's just as quick. Uh, if you want to see the shorebird.yaml that it creates uh, is this right here. As I said, all it does is contains this one identifier. Uh, so if we go back to our terminal, the next step um, would be to actually build with Shorebird. So once Shorebird is set up, uh, again, it's made no code changes to your app. You didn't have to change anything about your app. You just had to include this one YAML file. So now to actually use Shorebird, uh, where Shorebird inserts is that in your build, in your CI system, we replace Flutter build. So instead of typing Flutter build APK, uh, in your CI, you're gonna use Shorebird release uh, we'll use Android for this example, uh, although iOS um, works the same, uh, and we're working on releasing uh, desktop platforms very soon. Uh, so this is going to take the same amount of time as a normal Flutter build would take, because that's all it's doing is running Flutter build under the covers. Uh, we wrap the Flutter build command for a couple reasons. Uh, one is to make sure that you use the uh, that we that you use and we record the exact version of Flutter, so that we can use that same version later when making a patch, when making an update to your app. Uh, we also wrap Flutter, Bird so that, Flutter Build so that we can save the resulting output app, the same thing you send to the stores. We save it off on your behalf uh, for your later uh, install and reuse, as well as so that we can create a patch, uh, a difference uh, with that app. So here it's done, it's run Flutter Build. It's just prompting me to continue. Uh, and then when this completes, it's going to output the Flutter AAB file this is the exact thing that you would send to the store, just like Flutter Build already would have been creating for you. Uh, but again, it's also saved off uh, on our servers on your behalf. Uh, so to see what it's been saved, we're gonna use another command called Shorebird Preview. This is very similar to uh, Flutter Run uh, in terms of it puts your app on the device. Unlike Flutter Run, this does not build the app for you, rather it it installs a pre-built version of the app, the one that we saved on your behalf. So here it is, we've only done one build of this app, but if you'd done 100, you could select from all your past builds. Uh, some of our customers like to use this for distributing builds to their QA, so they can test old builds, et cetera. Uh, but here, we're just gonna install the latest build that we just made. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and switch over to our Android emulator. And you can see this app that we just built. Again, this is the Flutter template, very simple app. All it does is run a counter. So when you click, the button goes up. Great. So if we go back to the source code, we can go ahead and cancel this, uh, this preview and we can go look at the source code to our app. Close our terminal. So let's go ahead and make a change. Uh, so this one says Flutter Demo Homepage. We're gonna say Hello Shorebird instead. 
Now, Shorebird can make any change to any Dart in your app. In fact, you could technically change all of the Dart, although that would be against the store rules and we do not recommend that. But you can add packages, remove packages, um, do any amount of change to Dart that is necessary. So here, if we scroll down, uh, we can even change the direction of this counter, uh, or we could change the, the color. So if we wanted to change this to be yellow, uh, so we're done. So there we're done. Um, and now let's go ahead and deploy this patch to all of our users. Uh, so just like how we did Shorebird release Android, we're now going to do Shorebird patch Android. Uh, so most of our customers set up Shorebird release as part of their CI, uh, and then they might use Shorebird patch manually or as part of a separate CI pipeline when they want to do uh, a patch rather than sending a new release to the stores. Uh, so when you run patch, it asks you which release you want to patch. Again, we saved off those releases for you. You can send the same new Dart to you know potentially very old versions of your application. Um, the only constraint is that the underlying uh, Java, Swift, uh, Kotlin, Objective-C, uh, the native code, quote unquote, does need to be the same for patching Dart to be safe. Uh, so anytime you make changes to your native code, you do need to make a new release through the stores. Uh, that's also through store policy. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and release, or we're gonna go ahead and patch this release we just made. So it's gonna again download a copy of that release from, that we had stored on your behalf from our servers. Uh, then it's going to go build your new change Dart and it's going to compare the outcomes uh, and then prepare a small patch that it will then distribute through our update mechanism. This again is running Flutter build under the covers. Importantly, it's running the exact same hash of Flutter. Uh, the exact same version of Flutter is being used to build this patch as was used to build your release. Uh, so when it's done, you can see the underlying patches that we create are very small. This one was one uh, kilobyte, so less than, than an image or a small text file that you would be downloading uh, that help, also helps make our updating system incredibly fast. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit continue. And because I did not choose to stage this patch uh, or use any of our various rollout mechanisms, this patch is now immediately distributed to all users. In this case, uh, that's only me, just the one demo user here. Uh, so if I go ahead and switch over, uh, so you can see we're still using the app. I haven't interrupted our use of the app. Uh, when I close this app and launch again, by default, Shorebird runs entirely in the background of your app. Uh, during launch, it will check for a new update. It will download and install a new update. Uh, we do this to be uh, maximally user friendly. You can change all this behavior. We provide you a pub package that you can use to control the updater behavior uh, however you like, but by default, we do everything in the background. Um, so if we go ahead and, and quit again, or if we were to switch to another app, the OS would quit, us, would quit the app automatically. Um, but if we open the app again, you'll see that that, new, that installed patch that happened during our last install is now running. Uh, you can see it says Hello Shorebird. And our counter now goes the other direction. So there you have it. That is a demo of setting up Shorebird for your app and deploying your first patch uh, with Shorebird.